Hello and welcome to Fun with Creative Tech. This is the second video in the series of creating your first interactive artwork in Unity 3D. Um, just following on from having created particle system and figuring out how to edit variables in those particles. Now what we're going to do is look at creating a user interface so we can control those variables at runtime or when the program is built out and we don't have access to those variables in the editor here. To do that, we're going to create a user interface with buttons and sliders. Um, Unity handily has this or user interface system built in now, which we can do to, uh, use to do just this. So if you click over in your hierarchy here, right click, come down to UI, UI standing for user interface, so that's your buttons and sliders and input fields and text all the things you're used to seeing online um, and in apps. So first of all, let's select panel. Now you'll notice in the scene view here, it's created this ginormous panel. That's because the user interface is rendered as if one pixel is one meter in Unity. That's why it's giant like this. Now you'll notice in the game view here, that it has filled the entire screen. So in your scene, if you click on panel and press F to focus on it, this white square shows your the entire screen here, right? And you'll see I have these little handles in the top corner when I click on the panel. Now I can click and drag them around um, and that gives you the edge of your panel. But the way that user interface uh, transforms work is a little bit different to how uh, traditional three-dimensional transforms work. So let's have a look at that. So if you have a look in your, click on your panel and we'll have a look over here in the inspector. Now you'll notice instead of a normal transform, we have something called a rect transform or a rectangular transform. And this lets us do a whole bunch of different things. So it lets us define where it pivots from, uh, where it scales from, um, where each edge is positioned, uh, how it sits relative um, percentage-wise to the screen. For the moment, we're not going to go too deep into that because that's a whole series unto itself. But what we're going to do for right now is let's just um, set the pivot. So if we click on this picture in the top left here, um, you'll notice here this says anchor presets. So we're going to choose the top left anchor preset. And we're going to change its, oh sorry, we're going to check the anchor preset and hold shift at the same time as we click on this one here because you'll notice this will also sets the pivot. There we go. So now it's pivoting from this top left hand corner of your screen. So if we set its x pos is pos x, that's relative to that position there. So I'm going to set that to zero. And if we set its width, it's relative to that position as well. So I'm going to set that to say 200. And same with height. Again, it's relative to the position in the top left there. Okay, now what we're going to do is let's add a button. I'll move my particle system over a little bit so we can see it's in the screen nicely. All right, now we've got a panel. Let's put a button on that panel. So clicking the panel, right click down to UI and let's select button. Okay, so we get a handy little button. Um, press F, we can focus that up. Now you notice it's a child of the panel. So this button's rect transform is relative to this panel. So you notice that the pivot is in, oh, the pivot is in the middle here. So I'm going to pop that up the top. Now always a good habit to name your um, UI object. So I'm going to call this button um, emit. And then I'm going to you notice under the button there is a text component. Now the text component lets you change what it says, so I'm going to change that to emit. 
and I'm going to use it hook this button up now to tell the particle system to emit particles or to emit a certain amount of particles now the way the unity uh, interface the user interface is set up is makes it relatively easy to hook up events so an event being when the button is pressed what do I do so if you click on your button have a look in your inspector and then scroll down to the bottom so it's made up of multiple components so it's got a rectangular transform it has a canvas renderer so it will render onto the canvas which is the user interface it has an image so that's just the image that makes up the button and then it has a button script which has all the behaviors for the button so am I hovered over am I being pressed and then it has an event down here called on click now to hook these events up what you can do is if you hit the plus here it adds a slot now this slot here is asking okay when I hit, when I hit on click which object has a component with a function that I want to call so in this case I want to add my particle system to that on click so I clicked and dragged my particle system onto here now this will now populate this list here where it says no function and give me access to all of the components on that object so in this case I want to select the particle system and let's find the emit function okay so there's emit here and it says int in it meaning it wants an integer input so a whole number so at the moment if I click this button it's going to tell this particle system to emit zero particles which is not what we want we want to get it let's say emit emit 300 okay now if we hit play get our particle system emitting away hit emit and it emits 300 particles at once now you'll notice that our particle system stops going once we've done that that's because the particle system count is a bit low there we go so it's emitting now let's add a slider okay so we've got our panel let's right click user interface let's go slider this time alright so a slider instead of just having a single event of you know, um, you know press a button cause an action now a slider changes a value from uh, from one value to another so in this case by default it changes from 0 to 1 and then we can use that to control values inside of the particle system so same kind of thing we'll notice on the slider it has a rectangular transform and it has a slider script a slider component sorry now at the bottom of that slider component it has an on value changed um, an on value changed event which outputs a single which is the same thing as a float essentially in um, for what we're looking at so in this case what we want to do is drag our particle system into here now again this will give us access to all of the components on that particle system now what I'm looking for here is you'll notice in this list there's static parameters and dynamic float anything with dynamic with a dynamic float parameter when I change the slider it will feed that value direct, directly into that parameter otherwise with the static parameters it will only set a single value into those parameters so what we're looking at here is let's go um, let's modify let's do a gravity modifier on this okay so now we can this will change the value of the gravity from 0 to 1 as we adjust the slider so let's hit play and give that a test that's one so it's zero gravity that's gravity at full all right let's have a little bit of fun let's change that gravity to minus one so on the minimum value 
let's change the minimum value to minus 1, maximum value to 1. And let's go again. So that's full gravity, that's minus gravity. So now it's going backwards. Let me do this. Woo, woo. Cool. And so that is the basics of Unity user interface, which we'll be using for this project. Cool. See you in the next video.